What's up guys? Let's continue with the differential method. We've seen that the differential method uses differential of concentration with respect of time to analyze the order of reaction. We saw how to do it with graph and we're going to use it now using a numerical method. Now let me tell you another time that this method will be applied to the differential method and now with that method we get the differential method here and we get the order. So this method is actually a, let's say, a method that must be used in this methodology. So let's see the method. Remember that the important thing on the differential method is to get this table. Uh, the numerical method is going to give me this value here, this value here, this value here, and this value here. This, of course, is done in experimentation or with the data they give you. But the important part is to get these ones. One disadvantage is that the difference of these times must be equal. So you have 5 seconds here, and you have 6 seconds here, and then 10 seconds here, and then 15 seconds here. This point will be lost. You will not be able to use it. So keep in mind, when you're doing experimentation, because it's very important uh, to set this numerical method to same length, uh, let's say same length of the time, so you say delta time must be constant. Good. As the name implies numerical means that we're going to use formulas and equations. Uh, once again the delta x or delta time must be equal. We will be using three formulas. The first one is for the initial point, which in this case will be this value here. The second one are the interior points, which are all the points that are not initial nor final and the final point formula which is essentially the last point here so perfect we have everything to do it let's start with the initial point these equations are derived or come from the calculation of areas or points if you want them you can check them on the internet I'm not going to explain it because that's more about numerical methods and mathematics than reactor engineering. So just trust me, these are the values that will give you the differential on this value here. So what do you need here? It's essentially CA0, CA1, and CA2. Okay, you just be sure to multiply by these numbers here and divide two times that. That will give you a number and you just put it here. This will give you this number here and you continue. Now the interior points are very inter interesting because you can use them but not on the initial nor the final ones. So for any point, let's say J is any point that it's not the initial one nor the final one, you're going to use J plus 1 minus J minus 1. So, so if you have J, let's say 2, you have to put here 2 plus 1, so you will need the concentration at time 3 minus the concentration, let's say it was 2 minus 1 in 1. So you will be using these two concentrations and 2 times the delta time here. Perfect, you got this point here and you will need to do this one as well. It will be 2 plus 1, you will need a fourth point, no, sorry, the third point which is here, you will need 2 minus 1 will be 1. You will need this point here. You do it, you get it, perfect. Now we do the final point, which is this. Is n minus 2, let's say n equals, in this case, it's 4. So 4 minus 2, you will need 2. 4 minus 1, you will need 3 and 4. So you need 2, 3, and 4. You need the data on 2, uh, 2, 3. Uh, oh, well, they are using 0, 1, and 2. You will, you will need to use this three, the last 3. And you get them. And you're done. Because, sorry, here, once you got it, remember you got the initial point and we got our formula, this one here. We got our intermediate points and we got these formulas here. And our final point is here, so we got every single point of them. Nice. Now what do we must do is essentially apply the differential method. So remember guys, we are doing the numerical method and applying it to the differential method. So once we got all these differentials, which are here, 
we got every single one of them we got them here we will be able to calculate the slope which remember the slope is the order of that reaction you got these two values perfect you know the concentrations perfect and k you get it with any point and having this and the concentration at that point you get k so that's why we need the numerical method to essentially get these values here and then you need to the difference here for example this slope you need to get that y and you need also one point here so that's everything for the numerical method I'm going to do an example after I explain you the last method, which is the polynomial method. Or you can go directly to the courses and check lots of more problems that include this. So whatever your choice is, keep going and keep watching. So see you in the next video, which is polynomial fit for the differential method. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.